brain leak! That's how we do it. As Ethan would say, wonderful. Wonderful. Do I say that? A lot. Wonderful. And I say you're it. saying the wonderful. fact that you knew exactly what I was talking about as soon as I said it? <laughs> I, I guess so. You I say that? You say wonderful, and then you say, this is true. <laughs> This is true. I do say this is true. And then I also say, wait. Well, friends. I say, well, friends. Oh, fuck. I say so many things all the time. I'm going to point them all out. So every time you say one now, you're like, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to get so embarrassed and I'm just going to fucking want to die. That's okay. Welcome, Welcome back to the podcast, to the everybody. <laughs> 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 what a cold open. It's just the cold hanging open with the boys. Dragging me down. I have to break you down to build you back up. Bring me back anew. A phoenix born from the ashes. It's like years ago when I used to say wowie and then people pointed it out and then I stopped saying it because I was yeah. like, oh, I do. I it's do like say when that people, I would meet them in real life and they would say top of the morning to you and I was like, it's weird when you say it. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that. But now you have a whole company. That's true. Up. I reinforced the double down. Uh, confront your trauma and fight it to the death. Yes. Or bottle it up inside and make you feel feel bad for the rest of your life. That's usually what I do is bottle it up and then I feel bad and then and then it's later at night and I'm and I'm trying to go to sleep and my brain is like, do you remember that? Do you remember that thing from long ago that you haven't thought about? Do you remember about when me? Sean said, "Well, friends"? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when Sean said, "This is true"? <laughs> this is true and you say it all the time why do you do that why do you say the same thing is it because you're afraid of <laughs> just lying in bed beating the shit out of yourself <laughs> you're trash <laughs> fuck <laughs> say other things <sighs> oh. I, I always say something 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 and everything it's like don't say and everything just say the thing just say the thing it's poor yeah, what literacy What's your, what are your Sean-isms? Tell me. Think now. You are so spot on with mine. Yeah, because you have a lot of them. <laughs> I have so many of Either them. Either you don't pay attention to me as a close personal friend, or I just don't have any. No, you do, you do have some. I wouldn't say that you have a specific, like, what did I say? Ism? Sean-ism? Yeah, like a Sean-ism, but, oh, like a, you don't have like a, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> like I do. Because I just go back to default. Yeah, to make Ethan feel even worse about himself, can you go back through all the episodes so far and point out all the this is trues he said and give us a tally? <laughs> Please, for the love of God, I would for rather For the love of die. God! Please. Come on, give uh, me an ism. What do I do? I always do impressions of other people, but then no one's able to do an impression of me. They always go, Top of the morning to you, laddies! And then everyone's like, that's so good. And I'm like, please, get better taste in your impressions. If it's a good impression, I will agree. I'm trying to think of like a certain phrase that you say, but there are certain things that you do mm. where like you're saying a certain thing and then you'll say like a more complicated thing to say the thing that you just said. I do <laughs> you know do that. I mean? <laughs> where you like, you like go into it more and more. And yeah, I, I like talking in metaphors and visuals a lot. <laughs> so yeah. I, I'll talk about like, I, I was at therapy yesterday and I was talking about it like, yeah, it's just like social media. It feels like a bunch of fish caught in a net. And then when you get out of it, you're swimming free in the ocean. And she was like, wow. And I was like, why do I, why do, I do that? <laughs> you do use a lot of metaphors. Yeah. And I love it. I love a metaphor. I, I just like uh, thinking visually. It, it lets me understand myself. I'm not saying it for other people's benefit. It's so I can understand and feel smart for myself. <laughs> yeah. It's like, man, I don't feel so good today. It's like when you get hit by a, a train in an ice storm, you know? <laughs> It's like, he just turned into a Charlie video. It's like, you ever just wake up and it feels like your nutsack's caught in a bear trap? Yeah. Sorry to just splash the cold water on you, pull your pants down in the morning, but this is how the sausage is made. <laughs> oh, man. I just thought of it a million dollar idea for Charlie. Charlie should make a book of poetry. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so or funny. Or like phrase of the day toilet paper or phrase of the day calendar. Ooh, yeah. Charlie's Anything, just really. Printing money for you, baby. 
There you go. It's fucking making God slap and buying esports teams. Like, what a fucking idiot. What an idiot. Jesus. Who would make comic Christ. books? Yeah, who would make who would make something like that? Oh, we just had Halloween and I just realized dressing up as Charlie is such a good Halloween costume. I'm like halfway there. Oh, you are you are close. Yeah. All you have to do well I mean, right now, if you just put a white t shirt on <laughs> <laughs> you'd be you'd be yeah. there. Yeah. Just put a white t shirt on and then start a stream where I just came out of the shower. Mm hmm Boom, Charlie. Mm-hmm. I I, I was thinking he reminds me of like a, a wet cat whenever I <laughs> see him, whenever he's just out of the shower. I'm like, oh, he looks so small. Yeah, because he, he normally has like nice, long, luscious, like volumetric hair. And then he has a shower. And it's like, oh, where'd all the volume go? Where'd you go, bud? That's us with BB when you put the little sweaters on him. And it's like, you're so small. Oh, and then we take them off him, and we just go, hey, Nicky, Nicky, Nicky. Nicky boy. How often is that boy Nicky? These days, not often. Because mm. he Especially has his diabetes cases. tag on, so he'll lick it off if we take his jumpers off. Diabetes. If only what I could tell that? him that he has diabetes and the insulin is keeping him alive, and we're not just stabbing him for fun every day. Uh, do you have to swap the pack out every day? Every two weeks, the tag comes off him. And how, do, how does the tag work? It's just a disc and it has a needle in it. So there's a needle constantly like in him. Mm. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, I, I just assume it's always in him. And then it's like reading his blood constantly. And then you put your phone to it like a, like Apple Pay. We're just like paying BB all the time. <laughs> he walks in the room and it's like cat tags. <laughs> <Deep. laughs> does it make noises? No, I think that would scare him. Does it sing a little song like my fucking washer and dryer? <laughs> Do you have like Samsung or LG washers? I have a Samsung one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> the <laughs> longest <laughs> song ever. It goes on forever. Yeah, I want like I want a washing machine that plays like straight hardcore techno when it's done. That'd be sick. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like when you're doing a big load of sheets. <laughs> big load of just shit. Rashing in there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day that my God got me. This is this has to do with what we're talking about. Okay. Washing machines. You've got the window. You can look inside. Mm -hmm. Microwaves. Got you the got window. window. You can look inside. The fuck are they doing in dishwashers? What are they doing in there? <laughs> what do they not want us to see? <laughs> oh, what if there's just like a bunch of little guys in there washing your dishes, like spitting on them? Yeah, that could be true. We the never know because there's no windows. Pissing all over my plates. Oh, am I eating off piss plates? You could be. Oh, you would know. That's where the like little gnomes are living. Yeah. Why don't they want us to see what's happening inside the dishwasher? Yeah, put salt in it. It's like, hold on. I've never washed dishes with salt in my life. So you're saying once the automatic machine does it, I have to add salt? What are you doing with it? <laughs> what you got in that throat of yours? Just a little bit of pretty litter. <laughs> I've been eating it. It's the way to go. <laughs> no, it's for your cat. You're not supposed are to you, eat it. Are you sure? But it yes. looks and smells so good. It says Pretty Litter's Ultra Absorbent Crystals Trap Odor Instantly. No more cat bathroom smell. How did you think you were supposed to eat that? Oh, well, I thought that because it traps odors, it would get rid of my bad breath. No, if anything, it, there's poop in that and pee. Pretty oh. Litter's Super Light Crystal Base also minimizes mess and dust. And the crystals last up to a month, which means less scooping and fewer trips to the garbage can. That didn't tip you off? Well, I, it's interesting just because I don't, I'm not a cat. I don't have a cat. You have a cat. And, and you know, last time I was over, I was like, wow, that litter looks crystally and nice. Even my nice. cat knows not to eat it. He poops and well, pees in it. You know, he's very smart. It, yeah, it changes colors to monitor signs of illness and like and UTIs, what, kidney issues. That's what really got me was the pretty colors. It was easy to distinguish, you know? Well, great. if you want to get pretty litter for your cat, 
Mm. Don't eat it. If you want to get it for your cat yeah. to poop and pee in, go to prettylitter.com slash leak and use code leak to save 20% on your first order. I'm going to make Ethan say it because he needs to realize that it's for the cat. If I wanted to get it, Pretty Litter for a cat to poop and pee in, and you know it's great stuff and ships right to your door, I'd go to prettylitter.com slash leak and use code L-E-A-K at checkout to save 20% off. I mean, yeah, terms and conditions apply and you have to see site for details, but yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm going to stop eating litter and start using it for the cat that I have. Excellent. Salt? You're putting salt in your dishwasher? Yeah, you have to put salt in your dishwasher to make your things shinier. What? You've never replaced the salt in your dishwasher? Replaced the salt? You put salt what? in a dishwasher! What salt in the... Like... Normal table salt? No, yeah, well, uh, maybe, but you can get like packets of dishwasher salt. Dish, wa oh, Jamie, pull it up. Uh, well, I know about like dishwasher pods, the okay. shit that you put in the thing. This might actually be a thing that is UK, Ireland versus America kind of thing. You know how like eggs, people are like, you don't put your eggs in the fridge? And I'm like, no, we don't need to. Oh, yeah, Dish you guys don't put your eggs in the fridge. I mean, a lot of people still do, but... Is used to regenerate the resin in the built-in ion exchange system. The coarse grains prevent it from clogging the softener unit. Huh? What? I thought it would for the... the, the like, the crystals come out and they, like, rub against the glass and shine it up. Hold on. When you replace the salt in your dishwasher... Don't talk to me like I'm a weirdo. I just no, Googled no, no, it. No, no. Where are you putting the salt? There's a salt thing. You like unscrew a thing and you pour the salt in and then you screw it back on. Maybe your Never. dishwasher does need a window. <laughs> <laughs> I've been alive for 27 years and not a single time okay, have you, I heard You've been alive for 27 salt. years, but how many years have you lived? Six. <laughs> I've Fair. only been woken up for six <laughs> I've years. I've only been woke. Salt in dishwasher? Yeah, maybe American Google will give you a different result. Though it may be tempting in a pinch, do not use table salt in your dishwasher. Yeah, don't do that. So what the fuck? Also, it kind of so scares cute. me that there's so many different types of salts going around. <laughs> what if I accidentally yeah. put dishwasher? They're not saying don't put dishwasher salt on your food. What's the difference? Is it the the coarse grain is it what's the difference it's because it's all sodium chloride isn't it salt is salt dishwasher salt it. versus table salt i'm looking it up dishwasher salt comes in coarse granules to prevent clocking the dishwasher salt tank while table salt is finely ground so it's all still just salt it's just a more coarse grain ah uh, it has a much larger granule and contains a special anti-caking agent Ensuring that when the salt gets wet, it doesn't become a solid mass or block the softener unit. Man, we need an anti-caking method for me when I put my fucking booty shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> put fucking dishwasher salt in your pants. Got anti-caking agents, baby. I've never known about the fucking salt. Yeah. There you go. How? How? You're also supposed to I... clean your dishwasher. You're supposed to empty it out and put a thing in and it cleans out your dishwasher it doesn't just get clean what? from washing your dishes because you have you have you have grease you have dirt you have food you have granules of all sorts of shit can't you just run it on the clean cycle i don't know if every dishwasher has a clean cycle you probably can do that but you can also get like special things that you can like take a tab off and you put it in the rack and then it like dissolves the cap thing i did that once and it like it makes it it makes it shiny my dishwasher was broken, and it was leaking all over the place. And so I called a man to come to my house, and he did the normal thing that maintenance people do. Which yeah, is they put in salt go, in it. They go, yeah, it's broken. And I went, thanks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And then he, like, inspected it, and he was like, yeah, you should just go and buy one of these things. And he was talking about what well, you are just talking about, the cleaning thing. And that should fix it. And then he charged me $100. <laughs> and I went, okay. Thanks. <laughs> and then he God left. Damn. And then it didn't work. So if you want to make money easy, become a dishwasher repairman. 
If you put the dishwasher on with no plates in it or dishes, mm -hmm. isn't it just yes. a dishwasher washer? Dishwasher washer. It washes the dishwasher. It washes itself. It's just a washer. But it's a dishwasher. <laughs> so it's washing the dishwasher. It's a dishwasher washer. Dishwasher washer. If the mailman gives me my mail, who gives the mailman the mail for him? <laughs> you know? Who gives the mailman the mail? Oh God. Who's my who therapist? Who watches the watchman? Therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, who does the doctor go to when he gets sick? I don't know. Does the dentist just hold up a mirror and go to town? <laughs> he might. Do you think that, Do you, I guess it depends on the practice, but do you think that people that work at a dentist's office get dental care for free? Do they, do they just go, hey, you got 15 minutes to look at my, my Do you teeth, think if chompers? you're a dentist, you get dental? <gasps> <laughs> Do you think if you work at a life insurance company, you get life insurance? I don't know. Probably not. If you not work in at America. McDonald's, I think you get free food there, right? Most restaurants you work at, you can like get staff meals for lunch. I'm sure that there's a leaker out there that is listening that's a dentist. How many y'all dentists out there? How many y'all dentists? And please let us know. Do you get dental? And is it, is it like you're a mechanic that brings your car in to get fixed and then you can spot the shoddy work that the mechanic did? Although if I guess if you're a mechanic, it's more like, it's like if you're a house builder or like you're a yeah. construction worker and then you like go to someone's house and you see the shoddy work. Is that the same for dentists? Oh, they're looking at somebody's teeth and they're just like, oh man. Bad work. That crown? Not done well. You need an oil change. <laughs> You need an oil change. You know about oil pulling? No. Oil pulling. How do you pull oil? So you put coconut oil in your mouth, which sounds really gross. And then you like push it through your teeth and you oh. do it for like five minutes. And it's supposed to naturally like whiten your teeth and like clean your gums and stuff. It's it's a new craze going around. Do you just meet people on the street and they all smell like coconuts now? No, that would be better than, uh, than the smells I smell sometimes. Also, so. <laughs> shouldn't that be oil pushing? If you're pushing it tr through your teeth? Right, but maybe you also pull it back. You go... Then again, it's called a blow job, but you're not doing a whole lot of blowing. Hmm, that's true. Why did they, why did they name it that? It should be a it suck be, job. It should be a suck job. You're right. Maybe because they were like, I'm tired of everyone telling me I'm doing such a sucky job. I'm going to change the name. I'm good at this. And I'm tired of people telling me I suck. Okay. Let's play a game really quick. Yes, I would like a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to give me three alternate names for a blowjob. What could it have been? Uh, hmm? The Chokester. Okay. Um, you're, so you're getting a chokester, or <laughs> you're, you're either getting one, you're giving one. Okay, okay. Uh, oil change. Okay, oil change. I think that's good. Um, <laughs> oil, oil pulling. I'm trying to think of stuff that <laughs> <laughs> you're pulling it out with your mouth. <laughs> oh, the oh, something got to do with like sucking the venom out. Ooh, yeah. What's it? Saving a life, mouth to mouth. <laughs> um, I don't want to say names like Sloppy Toppy and stuff, because that already exists. Yeah, you can't that's... have like the Gok Gok. That already exists. Um, oh, I want to call it basing. Oh, whoa. You're, all, you're like getting that. down to the base. Yeah, basing is good. <laughs> yeah, dude, so base today. <laughs> that's sick. I kind of like that. Yeah. Ba basing. <laughs> I was basing last night. Wait, so... Uh, is, it, is, it, is it called a base job? Ooh, Or is it just yeah. called being based? <laughs> <laughs> I like being based. Being based is really Hell funny. yeah. We need to come up with names for the other way around, though. Like the Conolingus. Because mm. that, that already is a miraculous name. <laughs> Yeah, why? I guess there's fellatio, kind of. Yeah. But it, conolingus sounds cool. But th this segment's for the people with pussies. Yeah. 
let's all you pussy hmm. practitioners out there. <sighs> what? Um, let's see. Going to Arby's? Going to Arby's? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I did see. Oh, there's a trend going around. I didn't even see the original. I saw a short on YouTube of a lady reacting to another lady. And it's a trend on TikTok where it's somebody dancing in a dress, but they're backlit by the sun. So you know how you can like see through dresses then real easy, but they've no underwear on. Uh huh. So it's just like pushing the guidelines to absolute breaking point. Uh -huh. To be like, I'm fully nude, you can see everything, but I'm not naked. D oh. And all the comments, of course, are just like, hmm, in the mood for a roast beef sandwich and things like that. And it's like, man, didn't know this Arby's did shorts. I see so many boobs on Instagram and TikTok all the time. Yeah, that's called your algorithm, I, bro. No, but 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 naked boobs. And I don't know why. How is it allowed? It is a thing that if you see one by even by accident, it's like suddenly shit. My whole search page is now tits. If you see one boob, <laughs> you're going to see all of the boob. <laughs> if you've seen one boob, the likelihood is that you've seen both. You've that is true. Yeah. How many times have you? How many times do you just see one boob? Yeah. No one's. No one's saying like we call them butt cheeks, but it's called a butt. Like. It's it's plural and then it's singular at the same time. Like it, the butt wow. is just both cheeks at the same time. Same with the balls. Yeah, you never you, know? you never just see one ball unless somebody has one ball. Yeah, they come in a pair. It's like yeah. pants. Yeah, or socks. You know, you're not gonna wear one sock. Yeah, you don't go into fucking Foot Locker and be like, I'll just take this one. I'll just take the left shoe, please. Yeah, if because then they have a surplus of right shoes left. If I'm showing you my balls, I'm showing you both. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, hey, showed you my ball last night. Can you show me your singular boob? I showed you my ball. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sean, nowadays so many people are starting up their own businesses where they're, they're making cool little tiny carpets for your hamsters or they're making t-shirts sending out left or right or they're making Starting coffee. your own business? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about starting your own business? Silly. Oh my gosh. Well, people have got to ship their products out, don't they? Yeah. I and the holidays so. are coming yeah. up. Yeah. The most hectic time of the year. Why not use ShipStation <gasps> to make it all easier? Is that what Santa uses? Is that how he's able to get all the presents to everybody on time on one night? I think it is. I'm pretty sure that he uses ShipStation. Wow. I wish I mm -hmm. could not get stuck worrying about shipping orders. I wish ShipStation would do the heavy lifting so my team can put the time, money, and energy into doing more important things, like listening to Brain Leak. Listen, you can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce those errors. You've got effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation, they're going to do it all. I do like buying stuff from Etsy. A lot of people do really cool things there. I bought some 3D printed things from there, so they're probably using ShipStation to get that stuff to me. Liggity split. They probably are. ShipStation manages your orders, it prints labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. I don't know about you, but shipping stuff is a pain in the ass, and it's so complicated. And it's so expensive. And ShipStation is great because it can get you discounts up to 84% off of Whoa. USPS and UPS rates. So expensive to ship wow. things. 84% off. It says here that over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. For life. Locked in. If you, if you would like to revolutionize your business, go to ShipStation.com and use code BRAIN today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Monetize shipping, e-commerce, efficiency. Hiya! ShipStation.com! Code Brain! Go! Ha ha! What were we talking about? <laughs> I don't remember. 
we were talking about uh getting being based. <laughs> yes, going out being based. based. So no base. Oh, man. So no base. Break mm. skateboard. Oh man. What about what about calling it T ball? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play T-ball later. Yeah, you gotta get a name for it that like you can confuse your parents with. It's like, yeah. what are you guys doing last night, kiddos? Playing T-ball. Just playing T-ball. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. And then Granny's in the no corner idea. being like, I think they were fucking. <laughs> he was getting based last night. <laughs> he was getting some head. <laughs> Wow. Uh, well, Sean, Halloween just passed. It did. Did you dress up? I dressed up twice. Two times? Yeah. We had Wait, you dressed up twice? Yeah, How pretty cool like on? that. You know, being Irish and being the inventors of Halloween and all that. I like throwing that fact around as much as I can because I think it's pretty cool and not a lot of people know that. Wait, uh, the Irish made Halloween? We invented Halloween. I didn't know that. What's Samhain. That? Oh, I didn't know that. If you've ever seen the name like Sam Hain, and people are like Sam Hain, that's pronounced Sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I know, I know that, but I didn't know that the Irish made it. Yeah. Who? Uh, Who Johnny, did that? Johnny Ween. <laughs> Johnny Ween. Johnny H. Ween. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's get did a little guys... uh, history lesson going on here, shall we? Jamie, pull up the did, stats. Did you guys also invent trick-or-treating? I don't know about that. Halloween was invented in Ireland. The roots of Halloween can be traced back 2,000 years to the Celtic Sound Festival, which celebrated the end of summer. Oh. Okay. And then it's so like how did we the get... bridging of the worlds. The, the world of the dead and the world of the living are closest on October 31st. So how did we get from celebrating the end of summer to dressing up and getting candy or giving some tricks? Did you ever, did you ever trick when you were younger? Hmm? Ever do any no, tricks I was too on scared. that fateful night? Me too. I well, was in I a did, tiny uh, town, like, so if I tricked, everyone knew who I was. I did some ding dong ditching, but that's you not much of a fucking asshole. I know. I More know. like ding dong it's... dickhead. That's what you were. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard you... dickhead in a while. Yeah, it's a rare one these days. Oh, yeah. Um, have you done it ever? Ding dong ditching. Yes, when I was very very drunk in college. It's the fucking thrill of a lifetime. <laughs> I uh, I wasn't very fast at getting away though because I was drunk. <laughs> Like the drunkest I've been. <laughs> I was so drunk that night and I'm so like, hey, everybody look at me when I'm drunk and like, I'm going to be the life of the party. So uh -huh. I was, we were like walking down the road and I was like looking at the river and I'd be like, wouldn't it be funny if I jumped in? And I was like, that's exactly how people die when they're drunk and they drown. And uh -huh. I, I thank God my brain kicked in. But then we walked past the river and I like rang a doorbell and ran away. But I was like so slow and sloppy. I kind of like fell over the fence getting away. <laughs> That's a mess. We should do some ding dong ditching soon. Really live a little. <laughs> New brain link video. <laughs> is it a crime to be this handsome? It should be. <laughs> should be, baby. Um, I, I don't know. Am I gonna have to fucking ask Jamie to pull it up, and people are gonna have to listen to me disrupting the peace? Would that fall under that? You can't <laughs> knock and run. Knocking on a stranger's door and running away isn't just an annoying prank played by kids. It is an illegal act according to UK law. Oh, but that's the UK. Let me pull up the American. So in the US, while the actual act is not illegal, it is illegal to trespass on somebody else's property without their permission. <laughs> but it is uh, it is illegal to break and enter and steal people's belongings. Would you call? I guess so. I was going to say, would you call ringing someone's doorbell trespassing? I think it depends on... The ownership of the yard. I guess so. Like, if someone is renting, then you can't really trespass. How does trespassing work? Do you have to apply for something that's like, now I own this land, anybody on it can be shot? 
Uh, or is it just a case of like no. I like I bought this house that I live in? Does that mean the land I own now with the house counts as trespassing, and it's up to me? Yeah, I, th I think it's up to you to enforce it. Then why is it always like, oh, trespassers will be shot, <laughs> survivors will be shot again? <laughs> why do people have those kinds of signs, and it's always like farmlands and stuff? But shouldn't that be everywhere then for places that people own? Uh, I mean, I think it's, again, just up to the owner to be like, I really don't want people who don't live here to be on this property. Because that's really what should be on my mailbox. Instead of no junk mail, it should say, like, you're a trespasser. Do you have a thing on property. your mailbox that says no junk mail? Yeah, but no one you can do. You can do that? It's just a sticker. <laughs> I, I feel like my, my mailman would be like, ah, fuck you. Put the thing in there anyway. Well, it's, it's more for, like, like solicitors coming or like not like uh, lawyer solicitors but like people who are like we have a window washing service and they come and drop it in do they count as solicitors yeah no no soliciting they're, they're they're trying to offer you a service yeah that you don't want so there it's, was... it's stuff like that and sometimes we'll catch them on our doorbell they'll walk up and be like oh and walk away uh -huh. and i'm like i don't need your laundry cleaning service i have a washing machine I have one, and it sings a great song, and I can look inside of it, unlike yeah. my dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no clue what's going on. <laughs> How are they doing it? How did they get so clean? I put I'll the plates know. in dirty to come out clean? What the fuck? There's so much salt everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, not in your dishwasher. <laughs> not in mine, apparently. This is fucked up. Th that's this your task for today. You need to... You need to like get Jocelyn to go out and be like, I need, just call her and be like, I need dishwasher salt. And it's one of, salt. she'll think it's one of those pranks like premium air or like, <laughs> you know, like wiper fluid. <laughs> that happened to me. Fuck. What was it? It was the first day that I had, or it was like in the first week that I had my job at the restaurant that I worked at. Um, and they had me, shit, they had me go down the street to another restaurant. Because the the line cook was like, we're out of this thing. You need to go down. It was a pizza place called Pizza Villa. Uh, wow. And he was like, you need to go down to Pizza Villa and ask for this thing. Fuck. What was it? I can't remember what it was, but penis I got pump. down there. <laughs> yeah, you got to ask him for a penis pump. I got down there and I asked. And the guy was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you like, got pranked yeah, so said, hard. I got pranked so hard. And then I did my walk of shame back to the restaurant and everyone was standing at the front door laughing and pointing and ha, laughing. Ha, at me. Ha, 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 ha. You you're got an, hazed, you're an new ignorant kid. fool. I told you to do something and you did it. You ha, stupid ha. fucking moron. Now I feel good about myself. I'm the bigger person. Look at me, everyone. <laughs> it was I. <laughs> God, what was it? I fuck. Now I'm gonna be thinking about this all damn day. It's not. But then that you be important. you became manager. I did, and I fired him. I didn't. You should have. He didn't. He didn't work there anymore once I became manager. Too many fucking pranks. Too many I hazing know. the new guys. I know he was ding dong ditching. Everyone. <laughs> he, he was ding dong dickhead for sure. He, he was the <laughs> ding dong dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think getting pranked like that made you a better man, a better worker, a better manager? Mm. Do you think it put you on the path? I think for weeks it kept me up. And I would look at myself in the mirror and i go, idiot. A bonehead, bonehead. God, <laughs> God, how could you be so foolish? Oh, you stupid oh. clod. Stupid, stupid. I think my self-esteem was irreparably damaged. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's why I have to go see my therapist now. It all wow. was from that moment. From then that. Have I got a fun week for you planned? <laughs> oh, baby. Hey, Ethan, remember that sponsor we had last time called Roan? I remember. They make great clothes for commuters and people that are going out and they want to look good and they want to they wanna feel good. And it'd be really embarrassing if you were wrong, but you're bang on. We, they're they're back. Bang. They're sponsoring us again. Oh, they are revolutionizing the commuter closet. Okay, you want to go out to work 
you want to look nice, you want to feel nice, but you don't do. want to wear your your dad's old khaki pants. You know, they don't fit right. That big old shirt's so loose, yeah, uncomfortable, but... scratchy. Yeah, and he's dead. Yeah, that too. <laughs> also, <laughs> if you want to get technical about it, <laughs> yeah. But if you didn't want to wear your dead dad's clothes, <laughs> you could go to Roan. Check out the commuter collection. It's the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible set of products known to man. They do, they do like pants and dress shirts and zips and polos. That's right. That's I right. Would like, I would like good. to look like that. You should. You would look like a nice, dapper young man <laughs> going to work with his big old briefcase. And their comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility. It lets me move around because I have ADHD and I don't sit still. And you know, when you're moving around, normally in normal clothes, you're going to get wrinkles everywhere. But not with Roan. It's got Roan wrinkle release technology. And wrinkles Ooh. will disappear as you stretch and wear the products. It's that easy. You don't got to bust out easy. the iron or the steamer anymore. It's that easy. Even a moron like I can do it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, if you wanted to get Roan and get the new commuter collection that'll get you through any work day, head to roan.com slash brainleak and use code brainleak to save 20% off your entire order. Okay, that's Let's just easy. say that back to me. That's, that's easy because it's R-H-O-N-E dot com slash brainleak, but the code is also brainleak. So yes. it's, it's easy to remember. Okay, got it. Yeah. It's time to find your corner office comfort zone. Sean and I were just talking about this, dear listeners. In weeks' time, a week's time, I'll be over there, you guy. Gonna rain. <laughs> talking like that. Around, I want you. Like I want to try and convince you at some point to go to a pub and order two drinks like that. Can I get two points of lager, please? Oi! I'll get two points of lager, please. <laughs> Fuck you. Bro. Look, I'll admit a lot of UK people are not the greatest. <laughs> but they're not and then that they're like, can I, can I see your ID? And then I pull out my California ID and I'm like, yeah, sure. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Here you go, sir. Thank you. How God you? bless the queen? queen? No, she dead. <laughs> she I got dead. a mail the other day, a mail order mail, and it came and it said His Majesty's Service on it. And I was like, ugh. It's like a, it's like a alternate dimension, like a paradox kind of thing, where it's like Ashton Kutcher butterfly effect once more, relevant to our entire lives. Is he on the bill now? Did they change all the bills? I don't know. I haven't had cash in fucking years. <laughs> Is it always that they're on the bills? I don't know. I don't. I just go here. I'm not from here. Man, I'm not this from this crazy. school. <laughs> Does Ireland use euros? What does Ireland use? Yeah, we use euro. Who who's on that? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Cuz I don't. I had no idea. Like on um, the 1 euro. I think bill. Well, on like the coins it's like the harp, like the uh -huh. the Irish symbol. But on notes, I think did Brexit fuck up the euro? I don't know. I, I can't. I just live on this planet. I don't participate. Brexit is bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Huh. Look, hmm. I'm Irish. I'm allowed to make fun of British people. Okay. Stupid bonehead, 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 bonehead. I walk down the street. Oh, I feel so bad because I don't know anything about England and I don't know anything about Ireland. I'm just living in my own little bubble. I barely know anything about myself. I just want to record podcasts and, like, jerk it once or twice a week. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just jerk off once or twice an afternoon. I just want to get based. <laughs> I just want to get based. Do you think that it, we we could go to, we could go to, uh, what's it called? The Buckingham fucking, Palace. Buckingham Palace. Ask the soldiers outside what they think of base. I bet we could get one of them to laugh. Hmm? I I would hate that. I would hate that to be our legacy. We're like, it's so funny. Watch this. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> wow! <laughs> he just goes, <laughs> gets shot on the spot. Dude, 
it was so funny though. Just go up and be like, I turned myself into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god just like doing the cringiest humor yeah what are, what are they called M- marchman Mar- uh, nut march crackers. madness nutcrackers what are they actually royal guard is it the royal guard yeah right the king's guard who knows i can't i don't Dude. know fucking anything <laughs> nobody i i tend to not learn and then if people ask me questions and i'm like like somebody when i was in la one time asked me what like the politics of England versus America is like, and like which parties were which. And I'm like, A, I don't know what the American politics really are. Mm-hmm. I, I just know what Twitter and Reddit tells me. And B, mm-hmm. I don't know what the British ones are. Even, and I don't know what the counterparts are for each of them. If they're the Royal Guard or whatever the fuck they're called, they got those big ass hats. They're supposed to protect the Queen. What, what are they hiding in there? Well, what are they hiding? But also... You're just making yourself a bigger target, aren't you? It's not very stealth-like of you. Maybe that's maybe that's why people think that. Oh, headshot, easy, big head mode, like oh, playing an old-school video game, and then they shoot like for center mass, miss, goes right through, and they're like, "Ha! Bet you thought that was my head." I think that they should redesign the look of the Royal Guard. I'm gonna say that that's who they are. It might not be, but they should be like Peta. In Hunger Games, where they paint themselves to look like I thought you were just going to say PETA, where they talk about animals a lot. <laughs> they should do a rebrand where it's all about keeping them animals alive. <laughs> um, the Queen's Foot Guard. Oh, damn, they got foot fetishes? Nobody's getting to her toes. Nobody's getting near her grippers. The five regiments of the British Army from the Queen's Foot Guards are the Grenadier Guards, the Coldstream Guards, the Scots Guards, the Irish Guards. Why would the Irish Irish Guards be part of the British Army for the Queen? Oh, so Foot Guards, yeah, they're the Foot Guards. So they keep her feet nice and clean. Well, when she was alive, she's dead now. But they still keep one of her toes in a glass container at the tip of the... At the t- at the tip of Buckingham Palace, only <laughs> Charles can go in there, and suck on that toe. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing with that toe? Baby? And nobody thinks it's weird because they've been inbreeding for years. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble for saying that? Who knows? I don't know. I mean... Proud to be an American! <laughs> <laughs> Lisa and I brave! Do you know all the lyrics um, to your national anthem? Do you? I know, for Tonight? mine, yeah. For Ireland or the UK? Fuck the UK, I don't fucking know what those weirdos are doing. I told you, I just live here! Is it in Gaelic, the yeah. Irish one? Nice. Should I, should I sing it and then you can sing yours? Yeah. Shane of Fina Fall, a tough we galag Aaron, Queen Dar Slu, our hinder on a coon, free vod vessel, shanty rushing chair foster, we love oak, frontier on off in troll, I knock the hems a burn up well, leg and air well, con bosh no sail, leg on a scrap, we love. Be the not oh. Charlie of Connie, her own Naveen, and Ireland, hey, up the bays. What are they saying in there? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows, actually. It's not even real words. It's I not know actual all Gaelic. The words. I'm sure I pronounced some of them wrong still, but I had to learn it for Irish class long time ago. And it was one of those things where it's like we had to get up in front of the teacher and we all had to recite it to be like, did you learn it? And I, I just learned it by heart, and because it's a song, it's easy to remember. Did you have to do anything at the beginning of the day? Like, we always had to do the Pledge of Allegiance in elementary school and middle school, not in high school. Oh, God, it's been so long ago. We got up and, did, like, the principal stood in front of all the classes and, like, gave announcements. And I think we might have said, like, a prayer. Okay. Do you know the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge the allegiance to the flags, the United States of America... One hand under God, indivisible. <laughs> Touching his balls. <laughs> indivisible, something, something. Uh, you pretty much got it. Yeah. Sing your uh, national anthem. 
Oh, say can you see? Put some reverb on this. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed. Oh, at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. Ooh. Through the perilous fight, oh, for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, oh, the bombs bursting in air. Mm. Gave proof. This is a really long song. Gave proof through the night mm, that our flag was still there. And then in a lot of them, when it goes that our flag was still there, there's a bunch of like backing trumpets that go da 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 da, and it goes oh, like oh, oh Caroline da da da. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are flowers in there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet work? Here it comes! And then, and then Mariah Carey does this, like some sort of riff there, you know? For the land of the free! And that's where they hold out the note for a really long time. Yeah, this is the part that game. everyone's actually waiting for. Yeah. And the home of the brave. And then everyone's and like, the <laughs> And then I go, uh, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> God. Ethan, have you not been using your Harry's? I see hair on that face. No, no I use my Harry's. I just. I was gone for a little bit, and I had to come back, and I, I, I'm due for a shave, you know? I went to I went to this hotel, and I forgot my razor, and I went down to the front desk, and I was like, hey, do you guys have any razors? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. And they gave me one that was supposed to be good, but I pulled it out immediately. You know, it's not even close to the sharpness of Harry's razors. Did it have it a nice German-engineered weighty handle? No, it was American stupid plastic. <laughs> American plastic is stupid. Yeah, it was awful. If George Washington was alive, do you think he'd use Harry's to shave his face? I know he would. Oh, uh, Abraham Lincoln? What he got under mm -hmm. that beard? He's got a weak he, chin? He might, but, you know, there's only one way to find out. And it's with a quality shave from a quality razor, like yeah. Harry's. I bet if he had a subscription to Harry's, he probably wouldn't have had the beard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He could be in his Lincoln Log house, shaving his face, looking all pretty for the theater. Yeah, shame about what happened there. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. <laughs> Real bummer. Anyway, Listen. the trial set is a $13 value for just $3 at harrys.com slash brain. That's harrys.com slash B-R-A-I-N. Get your... $13 value starter set for just $3. Yeah, and it's not just like shaving your face and skincare routines, creams, washes, lotions. They got it all. Your face deserves the best and the best is Harry's. Mm-hmm. So go out and get yourself the best. Harry's.com. Slash brain. $3 per try. Sean, we have to go to a NASCAR race. I've oh, never been. I'm sure yeah. you've never been. I want to see him go Brain real League left. sponsored NASCAR. Lord. Yes. We should just I take all the go. money we make from sponsors one week and put it all into NASCAR. Yeah. Maybe Buy a NASCAR little bit stock. into drugs and hookers. We'll see if how much we have left over. Speaking of races, um... Oh. That Are is, you in? That's <laughs> not the word I thought you were going to say. Speaking of racists, <laughs> I mean that those do go hand in hand with NASCAR a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Are you into Formula One? I I tried. I I respect it. I think it's a really cool sport and the stuff they're doing. I can see that it's like the the pinnacle of like speed racing. 
But every time I watch it, I get a little bored. I've never watched it, but it feels like in the past couple of years, people have gotten really into Formula One. Yeah. And it, it just kind of felt out of the blue. And now I know so many people that watch F1. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, like, when I was like playing Gran Turismo a lot and I was like, oh, I'm into race cars now. I was looking up a lot about like Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton and all the golden oldies like, oh, fucking Michael Schumacher. Ooh, baby. Ooh, the Stig. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like watching a bunch of stuff and I, I like watching videos talking about the mechanics of it and how the cars are made and like the history of it and how... How impressive it is what they're actually doing. But whole races, I get a bit bored. I like watching Rally instead, like WRC. Oh, is that like dirt? Yeah, it's like dirt and like gravel. Oh, and that's that's the one where they have the guy in the passenger seat. Yeah, he's like, left. Left, left, blah, blah. Four right over crest. Gets tight. <sighs> <laughs> what's tight. the guy he's like Sammy we're breaking the car Sammy <laughs> <laughs> I love that video <laughs> it's so good I so I was thinking about F1 because I was just in Vegas for TwitchCon mm. and I think it's this month um, they're doing Formula 1 in Vegas not only like the strip. in the Las Vegas area they're doing it on the fucking strip whoa yeah which is insane, and I don't know whose idea that was, but it doesn't really sound like a good idea because that will block off, you know, the strip, the main part of Las Vegas, so it'll make it really inconvenient for anybody to get anywhere. But also, it's going to cost so much money, they have to repave the whole road. But also, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, when people watch an F1 race, though, especially through th that port, through the strip portion because it goes around blah, blah blah it's like a six mile something but the big long straightaway is on the strip so that's where the cars are going to be going the fastest they're going to go like i don't know 200 plus miles an hour probably mm -hmm. and so it's like the people that are going to this what are you what are you watching you're just every every 10 minutes you're just <laughs> that's <Yeah>. it? <laughs> it's more like, <laughs> like whoa Where'd he go? Who was that? I don't know. But it's the same. You go to NASCAR, you, you're just there for the vibe. Why do people go to baseball games? It's so fucking boring. Oh my god, it's so boring going if to a baseball If they didn't have beer game. and hot dogs, I would... I just wouldn't be there. No, I wouldn't. It's the only sport where they have a moment where everyone has to get up and stretch because everyone's been so fucking stiff and bored because this is going on too long. God, that's true. There's no like halftime stretch at football. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, there's there's the halftime, but they're they're not stretching. You know. People well, are... I was talking about like real football, not hand egg. Uh, yeah. What hand egg? Oh, that football. Whoops. Yeah. I'm trying to piss. You're supposed to take a strong stance, defend football. Yeah. I defend other football. Which one is the real one? <laughs> And then people right, go, yeah. it was actually called soccer before it was called football. I'm like, it doesn't really matter. They just play, don't they? Like all the way through? No, there's, there's half there's halftime after 45. Oh, there is? Oh. Are they fun to watch in person? I've never been. I've never been to a football game. The only, the oh. closest I got to being to one was playing in one when there was, was a crowd there. being in one. <laughs> um, I, I think it's, it would be fun to watch. I think so, especially because, like, in the UK, there's all those fucking chants for every team, and they're all funny. Yeah. And they're all just shitting on the other team. And everybody knows all the words. I'm like, yeah. wow, look at you. I think it would be fun to go, uh, Brain League does football game. Brain League do football? Let's Both let's talk to Ryan Reynolds and get him time. to invite us to Wrexham. That would be so cool. I would love to go to a Wrexham game. You know... The possibility of that is not zero. <laughs> when it's you think closer about it. to being a possibility than it isn't. Yeah, I would say I just, so. I just don't want to text him and be like, can I come to a thing, please? Hey, my guy. How are you doing? I hope you're well. It was his <laughs> It was his birthday <laughs> recently. It was his birthday right before yours, actually. Really? And What's then, his birthday? I think it's like the 21st or something. No, 23rd? I think it was the day before yours. Oh, October 23rd. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> let's have a joint birthday party, even though we <laughs> don't know each other. 
What are you talking yeah. about? It's a joint birthday party? <laughs> Stop. But um, I was like, <laughs> it's one of those things that I have like his phone number and I've texted him in the past and I'm like that guy that brings it up all the time because uh. I don't have anything else. And then it was his birthday and I was like, okay, time, whew, calm yourself. Time, time to do it. Time to wish a happy it's birthday. And I was it. like, happy birthday. Hope you have a good day. You don't look a day over 50. And I was like, he would say that. He would be funny like that, wouldn't he? He'll he'll get a kick out of that. And he just wrote back, thanks, Sean. I was you like, accidentally oh, sent him a dick pic. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, forget that. H happy birthday, unless you like it. Uh, whoops. Not for you, unless it was. <laughs> Did Sorry. you like it? He just needs a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the hold that you do like, on the message and the thumbs down. Uh, the reaction. Yeah. Listen, I think that we could go to Rex. Where's Wrexham? Is Wrexham a Wales. place? Wales? How far away is that? It's 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 not comfortable to get there. It's not okay. like, oh, we just drive for like two hours. It's it's pretty far. What about a train? You guys got a lot of those over there. Well, we sure do, but I think you'd have to change a lot. I, it would probably honestly be faster to go from Brighton to Gatwick and fly to Cardiff and then drive to Wrexham. <laughs> that is probably true. But we could. What's stopping this? No one. Only ourselves. Only our and brains. The, and that's the beauty of the podcast. Limitless. When people talk about Brain Leak, they think... Frictionless. There's no limitless. limits. Synergy. Bradley Cooper. You know? That's what they think of. Yeah. He was limitless yeah. once. Yeah, he was. He took it that boner pill and he could not stop. <laughs> jaggedy, what jaggedy, that? jaggedy, jag. <laughs> that was what Limitless was. He just took a fucking boner pill. <laughs> and it never went down. Uh -huh. Man, Limitless, also a medical problem. Yeah. Boner for over, what is it, over four hours? Yeah. I think you'd pass out, wouldn't you? Yeah. <sighs> this is going to get a little TMI for the people who don't want to hear more about boners in our penises. Sometimes you get a boner and it kind of hurts. Yeah. It's like sometimes it's Painful. like, oh, I, just, I don't want this right now. There's too much blood down there. It's like it's like clenching a fist. If you clench a fist for too long, it's like, stop. Stop it. And then <laughs> sometimes you wake up in the morning, really got to pee, but you got that, that morning wood. Yeah. And you go to pee and it's just like, man, this is so cumbersome. Yeah, so I think to, about grandma, think about grandma, I, think about I have grandma. I fucking angle my body so weird in the toilet so I don't fucking piss on myself. Yeah, you have to go all like Michael Jackson smooth criminal on it just lean yeah, forward. Just fucking weird angles. We're not meant to pee at that angle. Nope. That's not what the human body's for. And that's why I promote, and I'm taking a hard stance, not only do I do it, I encourage others to do it, and I encourage us to normalize, as a society, peeing in the shower. It's a movement <laughs> that can't be stopped. There are dozens of us. Dozens. <laughs> there are. Rise up, shower pissers. Please. Hey, I piss You're... in the shower. Our voices need to be heard. It's, I don't shit in the shower. I don't think you should do that. No. Clog up your drain. Def but definitely don't do that. You're in the shower anyway. That's where you get clean. You might as well pee there. It's like peeing you in the pool. I pee in the pool. Yeah. I've been in might a pool well. in a very long time. But every anytime I am, I'm pissing in there. Yeah. Don't come There's near chlorine. me. There's chemicals to kill it. Uh, yeah. As soon as the piss comes out of your pee pee, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's turned into something else. Yeah. Because of the chlorine. Bath water. With for the other piss. People. With the piss in the thing. You know, it's just going down the drain. It's just and then it's he, just pee. We all do it. We all do it. It's just pee. Come on. Don't yeah. be a coward. It's just piss piss in each in the other's shower. mouths. Oh the shower. Man. What a <laughs> What a saying though. Don't be a coward, piss in the shower. I like that. I like it a lot. Spread the message, folks. <laughs> Brain leak. Leakers. Leakers piss in showers. Oh, yeah, you do. And if you don't, you're not a true leaker. I'm proud and I leak everywhere I can. Have you ever have you ever pissed in the sink? Uh, I've not pissed in the sink. No. Have you pissed in the piss sink? Piss in the sink or sink in the piss? 
Mm. Um, I have pissed in a sink in the past, but again, it's also alcohol related. And being like, ha funny, look how fucking cool I am. I was cool not I a, I my was balls not a very the garbage cool, disposal. I was not a very <laughs> cool person between the ages of 15 to 25. Well, 22. Was anyone? Was anyone, though? We're all just trying real hard. That's true. Now I don't try at all. Um, I was just thinking of this because we were talking about uh, the leakers rising up for pissing in the shower. And right before then, we were talking about national anthems. I think that brain leak should have an anthem. Ooh, that's a good call. Should should we hold a brain leak anthem contest? Yes. Winner gets picked. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have we don't have much to offer, but you'll get winner picked. Get, winner gets picked. Yeah, please go out there and provide us all with free songs, and then whoever's the best gets picked. And you get picked. Oh, it would be so golly, fun if we ever like went on the road or did a panel or something that you had an anthem that we could all sing together. Yes, yes. I feel like for this, because now it's like, well, I want it. I want to hear it. We should have some sort of hashtag, like, mm, uh, uh, piss anthem. No, that'll no. get censored. Yeah, just, just a uh, leak anthem. The leak anthem. Unless you can think of something funnier. Your brain's going uh, a mile a minute right now. Leak anthem, leakers, leak, leakers, the leakers lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> that is not better than what we said. <laughs> You, you know, sure? sometimes you don't have to say things. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. Um, uh, yeah, leakers rise up, but that sounds like a guerrilla movement that I don't want people <laughs> to think. <laughs> or like some but form it could of like be cool if rebel if alliance, a gorilla movement, Ooh. spelled like the animal. That would yeah, be cool. when, I love seeing gorillas move. They're really funny and when horrifying. When gorillas band together, is that what they call it? Unstoppable. Apes together strong. Ooh, new trailer for that coming out. The newest what? one. What? There's another one. There's another, there. there's another Planet of the Apes? Yep. What? And I didn't know about my monkey movie? <laughs> my monkey movie movement? Planet? It's called Kingdom Planet. of the Planet of the Apes. Kingdom? Did you show the teaser where a monkey gets a bird on his arm? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, only in theaters 2024. We have to go to the premiere of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, can we dress up as monkeys? <gasps> Big gorilla suits? Like how people dress up as like Freddy Fazbear? Yes, I want to be this gorilla, is man. our FNAF. This is our This FNAF. is our Roman Empire. Does Caesar die at the end of War of the Planet of the Apes? Uh, spoiler, yes. Okay, cool. Well, I guess it's not much of a spoiler since they're, they take place thousands of years before the original movie. Damn. Do you think we'll get Damn. to see them blow it up this time? Where he's the like, planet? you blew it up! Damn you! And he, he realizes it's Earth. Man, I want to watch all the Planet of the Apes movies again. I, I do it a couple times a year. A couple of times a year? <laughs> <laughs> I do it a couple times a year, you know. I, I uh, have we watched them go. at the start of this year, all three of them. They still hold up. Like, They're really good. The second movie is fucking awesome. They hold up very well. And then Woody Harrelson is in the third one, and he's all mad about something. Oh, Woody Harrelson's can't remember. always mad. Someone took all his no. weed. Yeah, he's very upset about it. Very, very upset. They also announced that there's a sequel to It Follows coming out. Oh, yeah. It's called, what is it called? They Follow. They Follow. Apparently, I don't know if this is true or I heard it through the internet grapevine, that they were originally going to do a sequel years ago and call Follow It. So it's like It Follows You is like the first one. It's it Follows and then Follow It, like go back to the source. So I wonder if they're doing that in this movie where they're like trying to figure out who the very first person was. That would be kind of cool. Because you, you can't really do the same concept again and have it be scary. I kind of hope that she walks around and she's like, it's like people following her and it's all scary from the, her, from the outside perspective. And then she just turns and it's like, not again. <laughs> she just walks off. Did you like that movie? I love that movie. 
I really liked that movie movies. a lot. A lot of people didn't like it. There was a lot of people that saw it and were like, this is stupid, but I, I really enjoyed it a lot. A lot of people are stupid. This is true. Oh, fuck! God there you damn go. it! Caught in the wild! Ah! It's time to flay yourself in front of everybody. Get out your fucking God. cat and nine tails and just... Get it. Fucking God damn it, this is so embarrassing. I, I love It Follows. It Follows and Talk To Me, I feel like, have similar indie energy. Loved Talk To Me. It was cool seeing some people dress up as the hand from Talk To Me this year. Yeah. For All Hallows Eve. Not as many people dressing up as Barbie. No. That's true. I didn't see anybody dress up as Barbie, actually. I, Do you I think didn't that maybe I didn't people even... thought it was a cop-out? It's just so easy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Barbie wasn't the cultural movement that we thought it was. Hmm. There was also no Oppenheimers, so... No, I didn't see Oppenheimer's but either. Oppenheimer also killed more people than Barbie did, so... Um, I didn't even say what I dressed up as for Halloween. We talked about yeah, it, and I never even as? said it. Um, night one, we did an early Halloween because some friends couldn't make it the next night. Uh, mm -hmm. One of our friends had never seen Jurassic Park, so... Mm -hmm. I dressed up as Sam Neill's character, Dr. Alan Grant, and Evelyn dressed up as Laura Dern's character, Elliot Sattler. And it was awesome. And then at, when the movie started and they were in those outfits, we like stood up in front of the, our projector and was like, ha here I am. Look at us. Um, was but every year, a Velociraptor? I wish. We thought about it after. It's like, why didn't we get him a dinosaur jumper? Fucking idiots. That was so cute. We uh, every year for Halloween now we do a double bill of horror movies. So we try and do like a new and an old one. So this year was Jurassic Park and Talk to Me because we were the only two who had seen it out of our friend group. Wait, you did a Talk to Me one? Yeah. Where did I see that? Wait, didn't you also do? I didn't see. I didn't do uh, a Talk to Me outfit. We just oh. watched Talk to Me and Jurassic Park. Okay. Sorry. The. Uh... The Discord cut out, so I made an mm. assumption. And you know what happens when you make <clears throat> assumptions? You make an ass out of you. And me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, then the next night I did uh, Marty McFly, but I I left the hair down, so I called it Mullet McFly. Oh, fuck yeah. Mullet and I, that was the first time McFly, I see myself with like a wig and what a mullet would look like, and I'm like, I could, I could rock a mullet. I could do this. I could be Curtis could Connor. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I could be an average white boy. <laughs> Every man is one mullet away from Curtis Connor. Yeah. I'll just shave the beard, get a nice little tash going. Look like Ooh. my dad. Have you ever had a mustache? No. Huh. I don't know what it, I'm I'm honestly afraid to cut my beard. I know I can grow a beard, but I'm afraid that I'll shave it all off once and it'll never grow back. And it'll never come back. And I'll, I'll have ruined my chance of having a beard for my whole life. Damn. Hmm. But yeah, I wonder what it would look like if I just like trimmed this all like really close. Not like super close, but like a five o'clock shadow kind of shave. And yeah. then just left the tash the way it is. It is you Movember. You can do it. <laughs> it is Movember. What would it take? $400 million. 400 mil? Probably or just that. buy tickets to thank Miss because the... Is that went live. Is that going live today? It should be live now, but I'm recording this episode, so I will postpone the episode because I have or the video because I haven't done a thumbnail yet. Ah, that's right. Where uh, where can people what's the link for Thankmas? Uh if you go to thankmas.com or thankmas.tiltify.com, you'll find the thing being we're doing two live shows. An early show and a late show, because when it comes to live shows Thankmas normally runs for like eight to ten hours. You can't keep people in seats in a theater for that long. So we have to do a break and then come back. So we have to do two shows. You can technically come to both shows Damn. if you want to. But we had to split it up. Hell yeah, baby. If you want to come, Ethan's going to be there. We're going to do stuff on stage live. Do stuff on stage December 2nd at the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. Yes, sir. We have 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. We have like 10 guests locked in and I'm going to be announcing those in the coming weeks. Fuck yeah, baby. It's going to be cool. Yeah, I'm kind baby. of, I'm always nervous about it because I'm like, what if it doesn't go well? But it usually It's going to go does. great. I mean, every year it 
it does great. So if you want to come in person, be in the audience, sit down in LA with us. Never before has there been a live studio audience. Yeah, we're tur- we're literally just turning into like PBS telethon. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really excited for my role. So if you guys are coming <clears throat> to uh, thank Miss Live, I'm gonna be like slightly off stage with big cue cards that say laugh. So every time that Sean says something funny, I will be cueing you to to laugh or cry. Yeah. Maybe He's also gonna be in like a really skimpy outfit and come out and say like round one. Yes, exactly. Show off them cheeks. Mm-hmm. We'll have to get mm-hmm. lots of anti-caking agent. Oh, man. The lots most. of dishwasher salt. <laughs> <laughs> so much dishwasher salt is going to go on my ass. I'm going to make Ethan uh, run into the crowd, high five every single person in the audience. Mm hmm. Uh, a backflip for every dollar raised. Mm hmm. I'll do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ten I'll do it. Thousand backflips in 10 minutes. <laughs> God. I I'm did just that gonna once. donate like two hundred thousand dollars during your period. <laughs> Be like, come on! I did I do that for Thankmas once? I can't remember. You did it for a charity event. I remember. I don't know if it was Thankmas. Well, because I did it originally when I was like sixteen. My gym did a fundraising event, mm. and so one of the things was uh, it was me and my like whole gymnastics team, and it was uh, for every backflip we would do uh you would donate x amount of money so like mm. people in the crowd were like i'll donate a dollar a backflip or ten dollars a backflip or whatever whatever and so we just sat there and did backflips for a minute and just <laughs> how many backflips did you do a lot i can't remember i was do you, do you know how many you've ever done in one sequence like your record uh on a trampoline I can't remember the last time. I don't know, probably like 20 or 30 in a row Jesus. on a trampoline. Just like going off of the same. Now who's bounce, the dishwasher? So backflip, backflip, backflip. I should test. I haven't been on a trampoline in a long time. Yeah, I either. thought about getting a trampoline. I thought about it. I thought about it. You know. Dude, I've, I think about a lot of things. That's not news. That's not <laughs> I thought about <laughs> buying golf clubs once, just because it was in my head. Did you? No, I don't care about golf. I don't want to play golf. I don't want golf clubs, but I thought about it. Ha, ah, man. If there was a sport that you could get into that would just suck for you, <laughs> when you're just like, why am I doing this? What would oh. it be? Oh, that's a good question. What sports are so fucking boring that I would hate to do them? Oh. Anything with running, I think. Oh, Actually, no, because you get better at it. I was going to say because my asthma and whatever, I just, I'm not in running condition now. But I guess the more you do it, the more. Probably something like bowls or bulls or whatever you want to call it. Like bulls? It's like where you have like the one rock out, like curling kind of, but just when you roll the balls. Uh, I think curling, no shade on the curling community, but. I think that that would suck because one, it doesn't seem very exciting. Two, it's cold. Yeah, you would be cold a lot of the time. But not if you're one of those scrubby guys. <laughs> what are those called? Scrubbers. I don't know. Scrubbers. Scrubby. <gasps> Do you think that they don't put dishwasher windows in because there's scrubby guys in there? Running around on their skates? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like Toy Story. Once the fucking dishwasher's closed, anything can happen. Schrodinger's plates. Oh, man, what's going on in there? It's a superposition of both states of being clean and dirty at the same time. We have no idea. No idea. I guess we'll have to uh. open it and collapse the wave function. God, we will. Quantum dishwashing. <laughs> Does this, so does that need quantum salt or? Hey guys, today we're finding out just exactly what happens inside of a dishwasher. <laughs> Let's go. Haven't haven't people done that? Like, I know MythBusters tried to like cook in it, but I think somebody did do like a see through dishwasher, and I was like, oh, I weird. want that. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to make. It's just it? more expensive. I guess so. Hold on. Hold Slapping on. like a lump of 
some metal on the front of it versus See glass. Through. A countertop dish. You can get a countertop dishwasher for three hundred dollars. As in, like I it's want integrated. A glass dishwasher. Hmm. No, the none of these have windows on them. Yeah. Oh, man. My fridge has a window on it. It does. Yeah. Really? One of those like Samsung fridges or LG. LG. They go up and you like knock on it and the lights come on. It's <laughs> like and then it has like the double door where it has like the front for all your drinks and stuff, and then you open it fully to be like, oh, oh Narnia. Oh, that's right. I remember you have a cool fridge. <sighs> Pretty. Hey, the fridge makes the man. Mm. And the man, Be a man. Makes get a fridge. fridge. <laughs> get a fridge. Have you ever seen those clips of like the old dudes being like, "Be a man, suffer in silence." <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's just them laughing. <laughs> it's uh, you know, this be is a man. What it is Cut your foreskin man. off. Ah, oh, man. Do you think that like what do they do with it after? I think do they put it in the garbage. I think they turn it into communion wafers for church. I think that's oh. what people eat. It's just flattened foreskins. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> you know? I'm all about recycling. Yeah. Just I'm...